So immunotherapy is a way to try to turn your own immune system on to fight against cancer. And uh, we do know that the immune system is capable of seeing cancer, and in most cases, cancers will be seen before they become detectable and will destroy those cancers. Uh, for various ways, cancers can evade the immune system and grow um, and be cloaked, if you will, so that they're not seen by the immune system. Immunotherapy is to try to turn the immune system back on to fight against cancer. Work that I did with colleagues at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center um, recently was published in uh, the journal Science. And in this publication, we wanted to try to explore why certain patients responded to immunotherapy for lung cancer and others did not. And we were able to show that how damaged the tumor is uh, does correlate with likelihood of response to immunotherapy. So in other words, the tumors that had had more alterations in their DNA were more likely to be immunogenic and were more likely to respond to immunotherapy. What we sought to discover in our science paper is what the link is between genetic damage and what the body's immune system should see and uh, response to immunotherapy. And we were able to show that tumors that were very damaged uh, tumors were more likely to respond to immunotherapy. So our work is um, useful in that we can try to identify the subset of patients that would best respond to immunotherapy. And for patients who are less likely to respond, we can pursue other avenues of research to improve outcomes for them as well. There is a constant effort uh, amongst researchers in the field to try to identify patients with greater precision in terms of who will and who will not respond to immunotherapy. Um, we are also working on improving immunotherapy with different combinations of therapy with other immunotherapy agents or targeted therapies or with chemotherapy. So if we were able to identify those patients who are exquisitely sensitive to immunotherapy with one drug on its own, then we can try to understand why patients are resistant to immunotherapy and figure out what the right combinations are for them. The immune checkpoint inhibitors such as um, nivolumab, uh, which was just approved for um, squamous cell lung cancer and other um, similar compounds which are likely to be approved in the near future for lung cancer have really uh, you know, revolutionized um, treatment of, of cancer broadly. Um, I have patients who we treated with these drugs uh, who are out now three, four, or five years um, without evidence of cancer recurring and they went on the trial with advanced stage disease and many of them had failed many different types of chemotherapy so they had quite resistant cancer so um, it's, it's, it's really um, an incredible um, result with these treatments. Immunotherapy is really um, a new class of compounds with a new way of understanding how it works and um, understanding how to manage the side effects. So it, it really is a skill set um, which I think is uh, unique and only certain places you know, have the experience to um, develop these uh, novel compounds and I think that what we were able to bring to Columbia is this expertise of drug development and immunotherapy.